Okay, right, using up your lifeline. Ask the audience. Audience, if you're ready, please, let's try and help out. Fingers on keypads. All vote now. Well, they obviously think it's D. It's your choice. Well, that's an overwhelming indication from the audience, but what does it indicate? You don't have to go along with their answer. It's entirely up to you. You might as well play this, you've got nothing to lose. You're going for D. You had £32,000 in your hand. Not anymore. You've now got £64,000. Now, this next question is number 12 of 15. It's worth £125,000. Now, you're guaranteed to walk away with at least £32,000. That's safe. You could leave now, though, with the £64,000 you've got at this moment. You don't have to play this next question. Take your time. You might as well have a look at it. You are just four questions away from £1 million. Here it comes. It's worth £125,000. Which of London's markets mainly sells fish? Smithfield. New Covent Garden, Spitalfields, Billingsgate. You're going for D. Oh, you could have walked away with £64,000. It was in your hand. But you were right not to. You've just won £125,000. You have £125,000. Now you now have question 13 of 15 coming up. Take your time. It's worth £250,000 if you can give me the right answer. Good luck. Here it comes. In the Dickens novel, where does Martin Chuzzlewit go to seek a better life? France. Australia. Ireland, America, you're going for D. You had a cheque for £125,000, you no longer have that. You've now got a cheque for a quarter of a million pounds. Right, here we go. This next question is worth £500,000. Half a million. Have a look. This is question number 14 of 15. It's worth £500,000. Take as long as you need. Here it comes. In Greek mythology, Erato was the muse of what? Dance. Astronomy, poetry, music. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You've just risked an awful lot of money on one question. You had a quarter of a million pounds and you could have walked away. You've been very, very brave. Your reward is a cheque for 
£100,000. Half a million. Well done. OK, this is it then, and I don't suppose you thought you'd get this far. The 15th and final question for £1 million. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away right now. But if you do decide to play and give me a right answer, you win £1 million. You'd be a millionaire. Question 15 out of 15. This is it. <laughs> What amount does the prefix sesqui represent? One and a half. Fifteen. Fifty. One hundred and fifty. I can't believe how tense this is becoming. Please take your time. I just remind you again, you are putting an awful lot of money at risk if you do choose to play this question. £468,000 to be precise. You don't have to play this question. You can walk away, but it is for £1 million. OK, you want to phone a friend. Now let's call them, but remember, you don't have to go along with what they say. Jane speaking. Hello, Jane. It's Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Chris Tarrant? Oh, my God. Ha <laughs> ha, how wonderful. I've got your friend here who'll certainly be your friend for life. If you can help them answer this next question, it's the million pound question. Your answer is worth one million pounds. Absolutely, Chris. I'll do my best. OK, here comes the question with four possible answers, but Jane, we need to know which one is the right answer. I'm afraid we are in unknown territory here, so um, I'll just have to say I have no idea. Apologies, Chris. Well, I'm sorry, but your friend doesn't seem to be any help to you at all. You don't have to answer this question. So you think it's A? Oh, you have come so close to winning. You've come so far. Now you're even closer. You've done it. It's the correct answer. You are now a millionaire. You've won a million pounds. I can't believe it. Okie dokie, let's start again with Who Wants To Be A Millionaire? <laughs> 